Heather, I am working on a bag. I want to make one of my Serenity bags, mm -hmm. but I want to use something totally different for fabric. I love how this turned out, but I want to see how it will look in something else. But I am having the hardest time deciding what thread to use on here. I've got so many colors, so much going on. I have looked at stuff. Can you help me? Yeah, well, there's a few things to think about. One is, do you want this piece of fabric to turn a certain color? Mm -hmm. Because if you sew it with something, for example, if you sew it with this green, it's going to bring out the green, so it's going to start looking like green flowers on some sort of blue background. Mm, I don't think I want that look. Again, you can use a variegated thread. That's the one I was considering, because I thought I could find a variegated that has all these different colors. When we audition thread, we just pull it off the cone like this and drop it on to give us an idea. And to me, that just really doesn't say anything. It's a neutral, but it's going to sort of brown out your quilt. Mm -hmm. It's going to make the brown on the grays show up a little bit more often. Mm -hmm. The other thing I'm concerned about, because this is a King Tut and a heavier thread, I've got to do pretty good stitching so that it doesn't because it's going to show. I'm going right. to see that thread in this there. This thread will show. So I would, if this was me, and I had all these colors going on, and I really want my textured piece to finish looking like it's all these colors going on, that's when I turn to Monopoly. Uh -huh. And Monopoly being an invisible thread, you're going to be able to stitch around these areas and it will give you loft because you're going to put batting in, right? Right, I am. Mm -hmm. And also, the stitching is really going to be very, very in, slight. You're in not the going background. to see it. Yes, it's going to recede. And then you're going to be left with the pattern, and it's going to the finished piece is going to look like this. It's going to have this feeling. That's a great idea. And and to use the clear monopoly versus the darker one. Because I've got a light background, I would want to use the light one. Yes, the, the light clear. one The light one works in something like this. When you want to use the dark monopoly is when you have very dark fabrics. Okay, all right. Well, uh, let me get busy on that and I'll come show you how it looks. Okay. Heather, I am so glad you suggested monopoly. I love how this turned out. Something else we, I have forgotten to mention. If you are not comfortable doing free motion quilting, Playing with Texture Magic is the perfect place to practice it because when you texturize this and your fabric shrinks up around your stitches, you can't tell if your stitches aren't right on the lines where you meant it. So it's a really good practice session for free motion quilting. But as you can see, I got some pretty good texture just by adding the batting in here, but look how much better it looks when I get that steamed and how much those flowers really puff up. I really like the way these look like individual petals. Yes. It looks like it's really opening up and the centers drew up and look kind of seedy, just seedy. like yeah. just like the pattern was. I would like to compare this to our original fabric. We have achieved the same look, but now we have texture. That's for sure. And I love how that turned out. The other thing that I did in here, a lot of times when I'm doing something like this, I'll stipple a lot in the background. I didn't do any stitching in the plain areas here, and I like that effect too. The other advantage with monopoly is the fact that it's a polyester monofilament. So when you're applying steam and you're applying heat, it's not going to melt. Most of the invisible threads on the market are a nylon thread, so be careful that you're not going to use that. Of course, Monopoly we love because it's so fine and supple and it's just very easy to sew. Did you find when you're oh, free I motioning it was, it was easy? so easy to work with? Yeah, that's an advantage for most of it. And when you're doing something that's free motion like this, you really do want a thread that's just going to flow along with your needle. Nothing's worse than something keeps snapping that you have to try and work out where you were, especially as it's invisible, right. hard to see. Right. Now, when I did this, I used bottom line in the bobbin, which is a really fine thread, too. Yes. You, do you ever do it with monopoly top and bottom? No. You never use an invisible thread, both top and bottom. You need to use it on the top with a thread or on the bottom with the thread on the top. That's what actually crimps it into a stitch. Oh, got it. I'm so glad I used that. I really love how it turned out. Thank you very much. You're welcome.